Hey guys, Lord 17 here, and welcome back to part 3 of Daylight. Um, apparently the game made me play through part 2 again, so now I'm back to where I should be. 15 minutes later. Okay guys, now just to recap, in the last episode, um, I found a pair of scissors. Um, they were bringing people to the infirmary to try and contain them, but it only made it worse. So, um, yeah, let's keep going. Now that I've wasted a uh, precious time, but yeah, let's uh, let's keep going. Hello again, sis. It's so nice to see you. Oh yeah, it's nice to see you too, crazy lady. I don't know who you are, Doctor Mercer. I swear to God, prototype. The maintenance staff has finished the modifications to your office. I, uh, that you've asked for. Also, as per your request, I've made sure only let certain staff work on small parts or larger project. Your new desk should be fully functional now. I want a fully functional desk. Um, Prisoner 85 has been under my direct observation for the past week. No change in temperament. He seems to have contracted some sort of virus causing fever and incoherent ranting. He is currently receiving treatment by the nurses. I'll reevaluate his condition after the study has been completed. What's study? What are they studying here? Silent Hill, man. Swear to God, Silent Hill. Alright, guys, let's move. Saving checkpoint. Oh, that looks good. What's this? Patient 9F admitted admitted with burns over 60% of body. Skin graft underway. Patient is refusing treatment and talks constantly about visions. But we're proceeding anyway. Sometimes it's not about what the patient wants, but about doing whatever it takes to make them better. Sure it does. <laughs> Conflict cannot survive without our participation. Okay. So this was this may be an in-between. Uh, Judy, it's recently come to my attention that much of the staff, including yourself, has been getting a bit too comfortable spreading rumors. I don't need to remind you how well and the others have, have compared here blah, 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 compared to the disease-ridden mainland. Do I? Yes, we've had wealth of issues with the inmates and some of our more colorful patients. Yes, we've had to turn to drastic measures to deal with them occasionally, but I need everyone here behind me if we're going to keep this running. I'm doing everything that I can. So, something happened mainland, topside? You're full of so many surprises, Sarah. Alright, I take it... I was always forward. Okay, so apparently, I have a feeling that the guy I'm talking to is. For our time together. I swear to God, that dude I'm talking to is uh, is uh, Doctor M. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. And I'm the one that went crazy. Patient 13 had such ominous number. Hospital records indicate this number is typically true to patients, uh, particularly troubled patients. Current cases, no exception given the nature of her birth. I foresee many institutions, bad decisions, and many more in her future. Sometimes I find myself wondering if some people's inner turmoil is beyond any human help. Or maybe that's who they're talking about. Maybe I'm that person. Maybe. Also, I apologize if I'm slouching over a little bit. You know, I've been... I'm on my feet all day, so, you know, my back, so, one of those, maybe a little neck chair, a little twerk, alright, enough of that, back to the game, so where are we going, we're going back here, and what the, f what the, f oh, I just got locked in, didn't I, of course I did, awesome, um, there's some light over here, ah, home away from home, yeah, home away from home with no way out. Never mind. That sounds awesome. That's not creepy at all. Okay, so I guess now we're on the hunt for pages again, huh? Alright. Please let there be something of use in here. Okay, that's cool. Um, his body was covered in maze-like cuts on his skin and tongue. His eyes were also missing. It's unclear whether this is self-inflicted or the work of another. When we're supposed to talk to Mercer... A small team of trust for the sake of the victim's family have declared her the murder. Body slated for cre cremation before sending his remains off the island.
Yeah, this is very Silent Hill like a little bit. I wish I could find a box so I could get some more uh you know supplies. Well that's great. I was gonna say, I either really need to find some pages or find some flares. One or the other. Well, I found a glow stick. It's really not gonna help me against these guys, these people that are trying to kill me, but. Okay, that door just definitely opened on its own. I was gonna say, well, if that bitch wants to come rip my face off, she can do so gladly right now. Alright, glow sticks are not gonna help me at all at the moment. Okay, well, I found the key room. That's good. Um, anything over here? Oh. Anything in this room? I think this is where I... Oh, oh. oh my god, there's a bump in the bathroom. Open the door. Get on the floor. Every Everybody walk the dinosaur. Oh, you dick. I know there's somebody here. Well, me too, bitch. Incident report. Uh, Captain Alex, senior president of 203, was refusing to stay quiet before lights out. He was screaming about some dark shadow coming from her crazy. So good, dude, that's great. I need some torches. Give me a torch, please. I don't need a glow stick, I need a torch. Uh, maintenance has conducted tests on the prison's electrical system. No indication of faulty wires found. The main generator is also working in perfect order. It's persists, okay. Yeah, thanks, I don't have any. What the f- Anybody there? What the, what the fook? What did you just do to me? I'm pretty sure they will. They seem pretty intent on doing so. They can resent the disdain all they want. He did it again, he did it again. I knew that guard was up to no good. When I received my food yesterday, I found a worm inside the mashed potatoes. Disgusting. I know it was the guard because when his hands hit the tray, he said, eat up, buttercup, with this evil look in his eyes. I'll gouge his eyes out tomorrow. Fair flare, please. Okay. Or not. Just give me another page. Uh, I don't know if we can accept any more inmates. It's gotten to the point to where we have four inmates to a cell working the front desk. I see every single one coming. Each one looks crazier than the last. I'm not sure how much longer this penitentiary can operate at this capacity. Ah! Oh, God. I'm dead. Okay, I'm not dead yet.
We're just gonna keep running. I've got, I've got a flare. Let's find this last piece. I got two, f I got two flares. That's good. That's good. That's not good. Hello. Oh God, this is nerve wracking. Um. Let's find this last. Let's find. The Holy crap! Oh god, she's not fucking around this time. Oh, here it is. I see it, sir. The sigil is here. Key is. Key's up here. Okay, let's get out of here. Shut up. <laughs> ah! God, right in my face! Alright, come on, let's hurry up. This is starting to... I don't want to die. <laughs> Fuck you. Need the key. I was gonna say, I went the goddamn wrong way! That's not good, guys. <gasps> Shut up. Nope. Anybody there? I got a Bible, guys. Let's get out of here. Such brutality. Corruption and chaos. The curse grew stronger as time went on. With each year further tightening its grip, they built steel cages to contain its resolve. Enslavement, isolation, reckless abandon. The city would burn with hatred and fear. Ah! I can't see anything, guys. This is not good. Ah! Shit. Okay, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that's that's enough of that for right now. Um, 
Holy crap. <laughs> Alright, this is actually getting good. I'm actually really surprised with how intense this is getting with each segment I go through. Um, this is picking up very nicely. Um, <laughs> that's the end of part three. Um, like, subscribe, and share for more videos, guys. It really means a lot to me, and it means a lot to the channel. Leave some comments down below. Leave a like. Be sure to share. As always, I'm Diablord17, and I will see you guys later. Peace. Oh, crap. You're a dick, dude. Okay, that was, it was nice talking to you, but that's okay.